the baby album is made from Mother Goose and I really didn't know what paper I was going to use and when I was at the uh, scrapbook expo in uh, a couple of weeks ago here in Illinois they I was looking and looking and I really didn't know what I wanted and um, naturally you can't go wrong with the graphic 45 but um, it was uh, kind of surprising that the Mother Goose, uh, the 12 by 12 pack, was $9.99. So that helped me make my decision that I was going to make the Baby Al album out of um, the Mother Goose uh, Graphic 45. So uh, that's what I used. And what, too, is it came with um, the, the uh, chipboard pieces. And what I had was last um, fall, I think it was, I found these at Joann's. Here's another great example of what I can, which you can get at, at um, Joann's. These are sturdy built-in brackets, pockets, and it's their pockets. And I forgot how much they were normally because I threw the covers away, but... Um, they were $1.97, and I think three of them, there, there was three of them in each one of these packages. And I figured, well, for $1.97, why make my own envelopes and waste the Graphic 45 paper making the envelopes? I can just go ahead and use these and then just embellish the pages. So this is what they look like. They're pullouts, and naturally, they're, you know, there's the three of them. And then here's a pocket. So this is what I used to make my album. And here is my album. And I don't want to put anything on the front because it is so bulky. I wanted to do more, and I'll show you the, what I did with the binding. I wanted to do more, and I couldn't because it was getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And I just couldn't take any, I mean, even the rings. So I had to bind it with ribbon. And because the way the pages were, I didn't know how I was going to put this together. And I don't know if you can see, but what I did is I would take two of the pages and then I would wrap the ribbon um, around the two pages and then knot it and then go ahead and wrap it again, wrap it again. So it was a little bit more sturdy because it was like really moving back and forth, back and forth, and I was just really concerned about it. So this is this is pretty chunky, um, and this is without putting anything in it yet. But let's see, it is um, about two two and a half inches thick so far, and that's with nothing in it yet for her that she wants to put uh, pictures or whatever she wants to put in there. So that's what I did is I just wrapped it with some ribbons and stuff and just kind of embellishment, embellishments, embellishments so that it's a little bit more sturdy. So I think that as I open it up, I think you're going to be able to see the entire album. If I do it like that, yeah, I think you can see it. So the first, uh, the first, uh, the cover, what I did is I just made an envelope with my um, envelope punch board. Here's uh, some buttons. Uh, these are the chipboard buttons from the collection. Uh, some baker's twine. And then I had these cute little um, diaper pins, safety pins. And then I used Velcro. And in here are the cards. And some of them I left where she matting so she can go ahead and put, put her photo. And then her journaling here. Some of them I just left so she can do whatever she wants with them. So that's the one the front here. Now this is the first one of the um, envelopes, the pockets. And what I did with that is I took the top, the flap off. So that's what this one looks like. And what I did is when I took the flap off, I put the flap down here. And I attached it with just a little hinge. And then I had these little enclosures. You just use a bread and it slips and it keeps it closed. And then with the tag, I just took some uh, just plain cardstock, made a little tab to close it. But what's here is so she can go ahead and put the photo here 
and then she can go ahead and do her journaling or whatever here. So that's one of the first pockets. So that's what that's how you're going to see how these pockets are and how I went ahead and changed out the pockets. And then on the other side of that pocket, I made a, a waterfall for the photos. And here's the one of the pretty little um, chipboard pieces. I had these. These were, I think, push pins or something, and I just cut off the uh, the tips, and I just glued it. I think it really went well with the polka dots and the blue. And and you know, and it's blue because I know that she's we know she's having a boy. So yes, I got to make something masculine, but it would been would have been kind of nice if I could have made something feminine. But again, I was challenged that I had to make something a little bit more uh, masculine. Now. Here is the other page where it pulls out and it has the three pages. So what I did is, I'll show you when I pull this out. Let's see if it'll work here. Take this and I pull it out like this. It's going to be pretty long. There. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. And what I did is I made an envelope. And this one. Here's the envelope. I cut the flap off and put the flap here. So then you can go ahead and use that as the insert in here again. She wants to go ahead and put the photo there. Photo in here. Journal. So there's the flap from here. Here's the envelope. And in the collection, these are the really nice cards. And all I did is they were attached. So what I did is I left them and cut them like this. And I didn't want to ruin here so she can put a photo, journal. So what I did is I just took that card stock and put that in there so it's like a little book. And then what I did is I put it over the flap here. Naturally, I put uh, the Baker's. I used a lot of uh, Baker's twine in different colors. And the same thing with the smaller ones. This is what it looked like, and I would just cut it out, fold it to make it a little book. Did the same thing with the insert, and put that one over here. So here is the one, two, three. And then when you turn it over, here again is the book that I just inserted, and I just left these blank so that she can go ahead and use that as her photo mat so she can add the photos to that side. Here again is another one of those pockets. And again, I cut the flap off. And I use one of these closures and I took the flap and I put it on this side instead to open it up. So she can go ahead and put a photo here if she wants to journal, whatever she wants to do, like that. And then just a plain tag here so she can photo, put a photo or journal in that one. And then flip it over. And here I made a belly band. And these are some of the chipboard pieces that came in the collection. Again, cut out the little post, uh, not postcards or whatever these little images are, made a little book. So she can go ahead and put the photo in here she wants and a more journaling here. Now, here again is this one here, the three. Let me pull that one out. And let's see if you can see this one. And again, here's the three pages, one, two, Three, and I just left these where it would be just a regular um, photo mat with small space for journaling, wrap some twine. These are the ch cute little chipboard pieces that came in the collection. And then flip it over this way and here. And here is the back side of it. Let's see if I can get this in. Here's the back side. Here again is another one of the tags, so she can go ahead and do whatever she likes. She can attach the photo, clip the photo, and then write and journal on there. 
So that's that one, that's that page. Here again is another one of those pockets, the um, longer pockets. I just left this one. I just uh, put the uh, paper. Here was the, one of the cute chipboard pieces. Put uh, a button on there with some twine. Use Velcro. And then here again is the tag. Again, I went ahead and just did a little tab so she could do journaling, photos, whatever she wants. And that one. And Velcro. Flip it over. This is just a regular mat here. Didn't do anything to this page. Here, when I was using um, the heavyweight chipboard to make the front and back cover, I had some extra pieces and, you know, yeah, man, why, why would you waste it? So what I did is that for an insert, I made just this and I covered it with that textured paper. Here's some black cardstock that I just used. This was part of the front uh, a cover of the paper pad. I cut that out. Again, here are the uh, little booklets that I made so she can go ahead if she wants to put the photo here, journaling. Little pockets here. And again, I um, used twine and used the little safety pins here. Again, here's another one. Flip it over, and there was the belly band. And um, here are some more of these tags for uh, photos and journaling. A lot of places for her to put the pictures. This, I put the card, little piece of cardboard down here, uh, chipboard piece, I'm sorry, uh, to stop it from sliding out because the belly band was a little loose. So I think that should stop it from really going anywhere. And this again, this is the uh, the page that turns out in threes. And pull this one out. And this here is, I left this, I left it just like this. This one here, um, I put the two chipboard pieces and the postcard blank on the other side. She could put the photo here, however she wants to do it. Again, here, here's another one. I just uh, matted the back of this if she wants to journal. Here's one of the little chipboard pieces here. Put some twine, another little uh, safety pin. And then on the other side, like the other one, I just left a lot of these with just the blank photo mat so that, and then you can see here where she can go ahead and put whatever she wants in there. That's that one. Here again is another one of those pockets. Here's the Humpty Dumpty, cute little uh, um, chipboard piece. And I had, again, the polka dots. I had them in blue and green, so it turned out really nice. Uh, I, I mean, I've had this in my stash for I don't know how long. So I finally got somewhere to use that. Open this one up. This was the Humpty Dumpty chipboard piece. And I just uh, made this a tag so she can go ahead and add a photo if she wants. So there you go. It's got enough room to go ahead and journal and put a photo in there and that one flips over and overlaps the flap here. Close that up with the Velcro. This again, I left this one blank so she can do whatever she wants with this one. Here again is another one of those pocket pages and what I did with that is I cut the flap off of this one, made the tag for journaling. And then just use the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, use the uh, paper and then use one of the chipboard pieces. Again, here's another one of those cards and I made it in another booklet. So there's a lot more for journaling and little photos and stuff. A lot of room for her to do what she needs to. And then on this back side, I made a pocket. Here's a cute little one of those chipboard pieces, another safety pin, a tag so she can do her journaling, photos if she wants to put. There's a lot of storage in here. Here I covered this one, another little book with the twine, and then here I just used some of my uh, trims that I had, another envelope on the back.
here are here's one of the um, clips uh, camera clips that I just bought at um, was it uh, Tuesday uh, no is that I think it was at Joanne's for dollar ninety seven I put one of those in there when I say these chipboard pieces are so cute with the safety pin another uh, envelope. Uh, with the Velcro, and again, here is another one that I, another book that I made. You keep it. This is how it is in the paper. All you have to do is just cut it out, and I just folded it, and it just made a perfect little book. And match lady, who wants to ruin uh, the graphics or the paper here? So I put that in there, so she can go ahead and maybe put the photo here and journaling, whatever she wants to do. And there's still enough room in here in these envelopes, and this is that texture paper. There's still enough room in these envelopes that she can go ahead and add extra photos or journaling or uh, whatever, cards or whatever, little keepsakes uh, of, of the baby. And um, here's the back. That's the back uh, paper. And I just, just used, used the, the plain blue added a little bit of the um, sentiment that was on the paper stack. So that is my album. And I don't know if I told you this is seven and a half, uh, I'm sorry, seven and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And the only reason why it is a little bit bigger is because of these trifold uh, pocket pages that I got. But that's what it looks like from the top, and that's what it looks like from this from the binding. I'm really happy the way it turned out. Um, I do have a little more, a couple of little things to add to this, but the image, let's see if I can put it on here. I did stamp the image and I colored it and that's going to be in the back of the um, album. And then I wanted to naturally make a co coordinating card. So um, what I did is I had some of these buttons and I added some of these buttons uh, in the album and I had these flowers and I just wanted to take some coordinating uh, the the flowers and the green, the blues, and the yellows and then I just added the buttons underneath. I don't know if you can really see the buttons underneath. Added some ribbon. Here's the mother goose. Another chipboard piece. Here's another chipboard piece that I punched out and I just did just a little bit of a dimension on that. I don't know if you can really see that or not. And I just layered it Here's the back part of it. This is my sentiment, but here is the inside here. I'll show you here, let's see. And then that's the inside. And I cut out the little Humpty Dumpty. Oops. Oh, sorry, you can't. There it is. I cut out the little Humpty Dumpty and then here's gonna be for the gift card for the baby. And uh, there's our sentiment in there. And then naturally I make the uh, coordinating um, envelope with the paper and this was one of the images from the collection. I cut that out, used uh, my uh, diamond dies and I used my grass diamond dies so it looks like he's laying in the grass. So that's the envelope for the card. So here is my baby album. Mother Goose from Graphic 45. There's my binding again. Show you my binding. I'm I'm I really happy the way this turned out. The binding. So it's pretty sturdy. So there it is. And I thank you for watching.